Hello, I am David W. Parker, and this is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL series episode 43. We're going to be looking at introduction to animation, and specifically the API for request animation frame. So when we dig in today, let's go ahead and see what's new. We have a constant here defined as angle per second of 45. Um, then we're going to be doing a circ you know, circle, and we're going to be going 45 degrees per second. We'll change that later so you could see how it compares at 5 degrees and 90 degrees as well. Uh, scrolling down into our main, I just threw this stuff in here so you can kind of see uh, how this all works together um, right away. So we have the current angle, which is going to be defined here as, as just angle 0 degrees. We're going to be creating our model matrix and our U model uh, from the uniform location. Um, if you want to see the previous episodes on using the GL metrics library, uh, we'll do, be using those. And then we're going to create this function tick, which is what we're going to be using for request animation frame right here. So what this API does is it takes in a function and it calls this function over and over and over again. Uh, and that's basically all it really does. So let's go ahead and see what's inside this function we're doing here. So we're going to say is go ahead and get a new updated angle and then draw and we're going to pass the model matrix, the U model matrix and the angle to the draw function. And then we're going to request the next frame which is going to tick this again. And then afterward we're going to go ahead and call this once. And so let's go down the update angle and you can see here. So we have this datum now we have a time which is now minus last. Last is the time ran when the uh, application is first started. And then we're going to go ahead and set last to now so it'll have the new computed value for time in the next tick. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take the angle, which starts as 0. And remember, this is going to set to the new angle at the other end. And we're going to add to it the angle per second times the elapsed time. Uh, which will be in milliseconds, so we need to divide by a thousand. And then we'll go ahead and modulus 360 so that we always have a degree of less than 360. After we have the updated angle, we're going to pass it to draw. Draw is going to take our and draw our triangle out. It's going to throw a bunch of colors on there as well. And then it's going to render it out, and we're going to basically just be rendering uh, the triangle as we always have before. So it looks like this. We just have this. Um, rotated triangle here and that's all it's really doing. It's very rotating nice and slow. We can change different things about this though like I said we can change the angle to make it be going very very slowly. We can make it go a lot faster here. Um, we can go ahead and play with this and I saw a couple of my other statements in here that you should take a peek at. One is uh, what if we had all the colors set to our random colors as before? You can see this is kind of fun. So now we have a bunch of crazy colors just constantly changing. And what if we go ahead and don't clear out the color buff a bit so that the colors stay every time? Then you just get this super crazy just continuously adding circle basically. Uh, finally, um, you could also use set interval for this rather than request animation frame, but that is uh, probably the worst idea in the fact that basically this is going to be called uh, regardless of which tab is open, so it's going to be using resources no matter what. So you should probably be using request animation frame instead. So um, that's it for this episode. If you like what you saw today, go ahead and uh, subscribe, uh, like this video, share on social media if you will, and go to programmingtil.com and sign up for my newsletter. Have a great one.